Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Welcome to English video with me, Mutia Ulafisti I am from 6A English Education Department Culture is very closely with our society In other country, there must be a culture that has its own identity that can be developed and preserved Culture contain a whole understanding of social value, social norm, science, and the whole social structure, religious and other. Each country must have a different culture to each other. So in this video, I will give the example the differences between Japanese and Indonesian culture. So the first is about culture respect other. The sign of respect by bowing it's only done in Japan. In Japanese culture, bowing is called ojigi. When people in Japan doing ojigi, things that are will say sorry, thank you, and ceremonial or other official event. And then hand kiss culture or known as salim in Indonesia. This culture is done to appreciation to older people. And then the second is Indonesia must be famous with the rubber clock. Different from Japan, it's believed that the Japanese do not like to wait and wasting the time because for them, the time is equally valuable money. This can make they work more effective and efficient. It's important for our as Indonesian people to pay attention for changing our habit of being late in conducting activities because time is a thing that can't be played back. It takes public awareness to appreciate time more and the third is in indonesia every child must be taught to eat without the sound because it is considered disrespectful to indonesian culture directly proportional to the japanese people when they are eating especially if they eating soup or ramen with a voice it will show a sense of pleasure of likeness to dish that they have been made and shown respect to the maker of the food and then in Japanese culture it is taught to say itadakimasu before we eating this is the same like when we are saying happy eating before we are pray before we start eat in Indonesia four is Name selection culture name in Japan consists with two parts, the family name and the first name. Everyone in Japan except the emperor family has a family name. The tradition is using a family name is valid since the Meiji Restoration era. While in the previous era, generally ordinary people do not have the family name since the Meiji Restoration, family name have become become a must in Japan but for the people in Indonesia not all tribes have family name tradition like the Japanese people for example they are do not have a family name but the tribe in Sumatra, Kalimantan and Sulawesi maybe have a family name from a person name, we can estimate which tribe they are coming from and what the religion they are from and so on. And for the last is about the culture in transportation. In Indonesia is famous for the density of public transportation and traffic density. Many people are weighing when going to ride the public transportation, there are often traffic jam that can make people impatient. But people in Japan, they are preferred to use public transportation because the public transportation that can cause the pollution because the Japanese people are very obedient and have adequate transportation such as trains, MRT, Shinkansen, bicycle, taxi, and many more. In addition, the car tax in Japan 
are much higher than Indonesia. That's why it uh, that's why the Japanese people prefer to use public transportation compared to other private transportation because transportation in Japan is safer while public transportation in Indonesia is still less organized and less aware of the importance of public transportation. I think that's enough for my video today. I hope you like it. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.